Hello Vital Mountain Bikes. Uh, you are watching 17 Questions with Monk Dog. Let's begin. What's your full name and how did you get the monkey name come about? Full name is, uh, I don't know if I need to tell you all this. Um, come back and get me or something. Uh, Chris Vasquez, that's my uh, legal name. And uh, the monkey name came from my cousin Chad. Back in the day I was uh, not the uh, moderate role model that I have since to become, but running from the cops, you know, the man. I, I could, back in my days I was uh, a little bit half of my size and I could, I could mo boot and scooty. <laughs> when was the last time you talked to Missy? Um, last time I talked to Missy was probably about five weeks ago. So yeah, she's doing good. She's uh, still crazier than ever and uh, I think she's gonna end up being that way till the end of the time. In your entire career, which rider has been the most involved in their bike setup? Ooh, uh, Jeff Kabush, he was really into it. And then uh, Cesar Grijalis, they were all roadie guys. And so those guys are into their setups a lot. What is your least favorite part of a bike to work on? Oh, least favorite part. Oh, if I have to do this, uh, tubeless stuff I'm all about I'm anti tubeless because no matter what it's still a flat tire and then you got white stuff all over you it look really cute give a secret mechanics tip to make our bikes repair easier wash your bikes that's the biggest one I can tell everybody wash your bikes make them clean so you can see if there's any cracks in them or keep them clean lit well lubed and shifting properly it'd be like not putting gas in your car it ain't gonna go nowhere if you don't take care of it what's the one tool in your toolbox that you can't live without that can't live with my five millimeter allen wrench five millimeter that's like the one if you lose it I'll, I'll go nuts that one's uh that one's a hard one to replace the most random tool in your in your toolbox the most random one uh, my most random toolbox is probably a set of um, wire tying wire tying pliers number eight what is the first team you wrenched for and when first team would have been yeti and that would have been in the 90s early 90s yeah back in the day with kurt Voorhees and them jesus crime Woo. yeah back in the day so are you are you able to sleep in the night before a world cup never been really nervous at the night before a world cup race i get more nervous at the at the at the start line and um, usually as the race is happening. Do you have any idea how how many miles I've driven throughout my mechanic and career? Woo! No, I've driven a lot. I've gone across the country duh, umpteen billion times. So I'd have to say one, two, I'd have to say easily 100, 200,000 miles easily, maybe even more. Well, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen while driving between races? Ooh, mm, accidents. I've driven through some tornadoes. Uh, I hit a moose. Didn't hurt the truck. We just caught some air. Do you have a favorite rest stop or a stop air rest area on the road? If so, share one of the rest areas. Hmm. I don't have a favorite one, but it's it's sort of it's weird. Like I've I've driven the cross country so much that. When I do stop, I accidentally stop at the same place. It's sort of like instinct. Like I'll be driving along and I'm like going, man, I need to pull over or I gotta, I'm gonna get off here and go to the bathroom or I need to go to get something to drink. And I'll actually pull off where I pulled off before in years previous and go, oh, I've been here before and actually hang out or do something there. And it's the Super 8 in Wairika. And there's this hot chick in there that works it's a Super 8, woo! And then there's the Black Bear Cafe. That's another hot spot for people on the road too. What has been your most memorable victory? Huh. Most memorable victory, I mean, a lot of the championships that we had, I mean, the one that probably sticks out in my mind the most was uh, the one victory when Lopes won in uh, uh, Lugano, the four cross, after he'd been uh, injured for so long and then 
finally getting back on top and uh, him winning that race was pretty cool. I mean, they're all good. I mean, winning championships is, is something that I try to do a lot and try to help my riders do. So they're all, they, all, they all have a plus, special place that, to me, so uh, they're all really good. How do you survive the Europe for extending periods of time before, before Mountain Dew was available here? When I'd come over here, I'd just sort of transfer over to Coke. And then uh, there's also this stuff they have here. It's a lemon soda. And like, that's my thing. I like a citrus based soda, uh, something like a soda or something like that. But uh, they have this one, it's just a lemon soda. So it's basically lemons thrown in a bottle with some carbonated water. And that's, uh, wow, that'll make you slap your grandma in the face. <laughs> so that's, I've got some pucker. Somebody you'd like to work with? Haven't yet. Well, a lot of young kids coming up through the ranks. So, as I can see at the moment, there's this uh, kid out of California. Um, looks like he's really dedicated and everything. So, I mean, as long as he keeps going on the progressive track that he's going, his name's uh, Cole uh, Pichettino. So, the kid seems like he's got his head on straight and he's got a good training ethic. So, yeah, see if he gets up there and actually can get it going on him. Maybe it can work for kids like that. I mean, anybody who has the heart and wants to win, that's who I really want to work for. 16, who is, who is picker, picker, pickier about their bike setup, downhillers or cross country riders? Ooh, cross country riders, I'd have to say. Yeah, this stuff is out like a nanometer. They go freak out. Wouldn't you rather be drinking a Mountain Dew in Europe than answering these dumb questions. Well, none of the questions are dumb, so, and drinking a Mountain Dew in Europe, yeah, that is pretty cool, but like I say, sort of backed off of it, but uh, I probably could, I, could, I think I'd drink a Mountain Dew. I'd still answer your dumb questions though, because the question not asked is the question that's dumb. Out of the races, and come by and say hi, and ask more questions if you want. Have a good one.